Hey DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're gonna to show you how to set up Google Home with a Simon XTI or XT or XTI 5 system. Now, this process is gonna be the same on any panel, but today we're gonna to show you how to do it on the XTI, as this is what we have connected to alarm.com, and this is the middle of the road panel, which you'll likely see if there's a Simon installed. Now, Google Home is an application or a feature uh, supported by Google that lets you perform things in the home based on voice and lets you tie different automation devices together. It's very similar to something like Apple HomeKit or the functionality that Alexa is currently using. The nice thing about Google Home though is that you can tie it into your alarm.com app and you can tell it to do specific things such as arm the system, lock the door, or other basic stuff like that. They have been including more functionality to it or they've been, in, in, uh, they've been upgrading the app as time goes on to have it do more things. You'll see on the main app store or where the integrations are, what it can currently do. And if you just keep your eyes peeled, you'll see that they're gonna be adding more stuff as time goes forward. Now, we have the XTI set up. It has our alarm.com module in there. It's activated on alarm.com and it also has a Z-Wave module installed in it. And before the video, I actually set up this quick set Z-Wave lock and this is programmed into our Simon system. And just to prove that it does work, I'm gonna click the gear, I'm gonna press down, I'm gonna go to door lock, I'm gonna click lock. I'm gonna enter my default code, the one, two, three, four. And as we can see, it locks the lock. So let me just unlock it so we get it ready for our next integration. And this is shaking a little bit because I have the screws currently out of it. So I'm gonna back out. So now we know that our lock is programmed into the system and that it does work. So now I'm gonna head over to our Google Pixel tablet and I'm gonna show you how to actually integrate your alarm.com account with your Google Home account. So we noticed that when the, the tablet's actually in a certain recording mode, it won't respond to a voice, but normally you can just say, okay, Google, and it will pull up a bar where it'll have the same menu option. But let me, let me get this started for you. We're gonna use another method Sorry, to access, sure how to help. and Google's talking to us. We're gonna use another method to access the Google Assistant. So if we click this up here, and then I already have it set, as you can see, because I searched for it before. You click Google Assistant. Now this right here is just the web browser. So what you wanna do is on the bottom, click Updates, and you're gonna see in the top right corner, there's this little compass button. That's what you wanna click, and that's gonna get us into the Google Assistant. Let me click it again. So here we go. This is where you're actually gonna uh, integrate your alarm.com app. So you're gonna wanna search for alarm.com. As you can see, it's right here. This will load it up, and this is your integration for Google Home. As you can see, right next to the symbol, there's a link button. So if we click the link button, this will pull up a page that's gonna let us integrate our alarm.com account with the Google Home. Now I have one specifically made for for our Simon, so let me just punch in this information, just give me a moment. And if I got it right, it'll learn it in. And there you go. And now you can see right there next to the symbol, it says try it and send a device. It's basically telling us that it is linked. And if we scroll down a little bit and we click on the more, you'll see the different things that you can say to the system for things to occur. Now it's not super robust yet and they are adding more in as time goes on, as I said. So keep checking back on the app just to see what features you do have. But as you can see, you can arm the system. You can ask if the system's armed. You can turn lights on. You can lock doors and other such things. You won't be able to tell it to disarm the system because that would be a bit of a security flaw if somebody could just yell that from outside your house. You won't be able to tell it to unlock your door because that would be another big security flaw. But as you see, we're all set up, good to go. So we're all done on the tablet and now let's head back over to our Simon and our quick set lock. What we actually have set up also is a Google Home device itself and we're gonna use this to talk to to get the lock to actually lock. So we're good to go. We have our Z-Wave lock enrolled to our Simon XTI system. We have our Simon XTI system activated on alarm.com. And we have our alarm.com account linked to our Google Home account. 
So now we should be able to operate the lock using our Google Home based on voice. So let's give it a shot. So let me just turn this around. OK, Google, tell alarm.com to lock the door. All right, ding alarm.com. OK, locking your lock. And as you can see, just by telling Google Home to lock the door, it hits the Simon, which then unlocks or locks the door. And that's how to integrate a Simon XDI system that's activated on alarm.com into Google Home. If you have any questions on this or security systems in general, feel free to head over to our website, alarmgrid.com. Give us a call at 888-818-7728 or send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. Feel free to subscribe. If you did enjoy the video and you want to be notified when we post future ones, hit the notification button below. Have a great day and thanks for watching.